In an era where digital data flows like the world's vast oceans, encryption stands as the lighthouse, guiding and protecting every byte from the stormy seas of cyber threats. At the core of this cryptographic safeguard lies the block cipher, a fortress of algorithms turning readable data into impenetrable codes. Yet the true mastery of data protection comes alive through the strategic maneuvers known as the modes of operation. With global internet traffic, now a torrent of over 150,000 gigabytes every minute, the art of securing this data is more critical than ever. These modes from the straightforward electronic codebook ECB to the intricate cyber block chaining CBC and the agile counter CTR mode are the unsung heroes in the shadows, each playing a pivotal role in the encryption saga. This video is your gateway into the captivating universe of block cipher modes of operation. Here we explore the ingenious designs that safeguard our digital conversations, transactions and secrets against the backdrop of a cyberspace filled with lurking adversaries. Dive into a story not just of algorithms and codes, but of the silent guardians that ensure the security of our digital world block by block. Welcome to the thrilling, invisible battle of encryption, where every bit and byte has its shield. But before commencing, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be a right choice. This course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners. And this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% of average. And no prior programming experience is needed and one plus year of work experience is preferred. For more details, you can use the link mentioned in the description box and mid comment. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on future content. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video and don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. So let's start with understanding encryption. So encryption is the process of converting understandable data that is plain text into a coded form that is ciphertext that hides the original information's meaning. So the purpose of the encryption is to protect data privacy, ensuring that only authorized parties can access the original information using a specific key for decryption. And now we'll see the application for encryption. So it is widely used to secure data across various platforms, including online transactions, confidential communications and personal data storage. Now moving to the role of block ciphers in digital security. So block ciphers are algorithms that encrypt data in fixed size chunks or blocks. Each block of plain text is encrypted separately, turning it into an encrypted block of ciphertext. And now we'll see two more forms of it, that is fixed block size. So the size of each blocks is predetermined, commonly 64 or 128 bits, which means the algorithm works by taking precisely the amount of data at a time for encryption. And then comes the key usage. So single secret key is utilized across the encryption process, transforming plain text blocks into ciphertext blocks. The same key when correctly applied is also used to decrypt the ciphertext back into readable plain text. So now we'll see the importance of understanding block ciphers. So the number one point is foundation of digital security. So learning about block ciphers is crucial as they form the backbone of many encryption systems protecting digital information today. And then we have versatility through modes of operation. So different operational modes enhance block ciphers, flexibility, allowing them to be tailored to specifically security requirements and scenarios. And then we have the widespread use. From securing online transactions to encrypting personal and sensitive information, block ciphers are integral to modern cybersecurity efforts. And now we'll compare block and stream ciphers. So block ciphers. So the number one point for the block ciphers would be the fixed size encryption that encrypts data in blocks, making it ideal for situations where the total amount of data is known in advance or can be evenly divided. And then we have the security features. So it is capable of enhancing security through modes of operation that can, for example, help in detecting alterations in the encrypted data. And if we talk about the use case, it is predominantly used for encrypting data at rest such as files on a disk or data stored in a database. And then we have the stream ciphers. So stream ciphers have continuous encryption. It encrypts data one bit or byte at a time, 
fitting scenarios with the data flows continuously and the total volume may not be known beforehand. And if we talk about its efficiency, so it's efficient in real time, often faster and more suitable for encrypting large volumes of data or streaming content in real time. And now coming to its use case, so it is commonly used for live data transmission such as streaming audio or video or real-time communication applications. And now we have importance of modes of operation in block ciphers. So now we'll understand modes of operation. So modes of operations are methods that define how blocks of plain text are processed by a block cipher algorithm. So they determine how encryption and decryption are carried out, adding layers of complexity and security beyond the basic encryption process. And now we'll see the necessity of different modes. The number one is variety of data types. Different types of data, example streaming data, static files, require different encryption approaches for optimal security and efficiency. And then we have security enhancements. Some modes offer increased security by introducing randomness and mitigating patterns in encrypted data, which can prevent attackers from guessing the content. And then we have functional requirements. So different applications may require specific features from the encryption process such as error propagation, data inquiry checks or simultaneous encryption and authentication. So now let's understand the common modes of operation. So block ciphers are crucial for anyone starting in cryptography. Each mode has unique characteristics, advantages and disadvantages. So we'll start with the number one that is ECB, electronic code book. So let's start with its procedure so it encrypts each block of plain text independently using the same key and it is the simplest form of encryption and now if we talk about its advantages it is easy to implement and the encryption of blocks can be done in parallel speeding up processing and about the disadvantages it is identical plain text blocks result in identical ciphertext blocks making it vulnerable to pattern analysis and not secure for data with patterns now moving to the next that is cbc cipher block chaining so before encryption, each block of plain text is XORed with the previous ciphertext block. The first block is XORed with an initialization vector that is called IV and it requires an IV for the first block. And now if we come to its advantages, so the patterns in the plain text are well masked and they are more secure against pattern attacks compared to ECB. And now coming to disadvantages. So encryption cannot be parallelized due to the dependency on the previous block ciphertext and the error propagation. So error propagation here refers to an error in one block that affects the decryption of the current and subsequent blocks. Now moving to the next that is CFB, cipher feedback. So it turns block cipher into a stream cipher by encrypting segments of a block at a time. And the previous ciphertext segment is encrypted and then XORed with the plain text segment to proceed the next ciphertext segment. And now talking about its advantages, it is suitable for encrypting data streams of varying sizes and errors do not propagate beyond the next block. Now coming to disadvantages, it is slightly more complex to implement and may have lower efficiency due to the sequential nature of processing. Now coming to the next, that is OFB, output feedback. So similar to CFB, but the output of the encryption is fed back into the block cipher for the next cycle, not the ciphertext. And it is essentially turns a block cipher into a stream cipher. This is for the output feedback. Now talking about its advantages. So error in ciphertext does not propagate to plain text in OF and it can regenerate key stream. And talking about its disadvantages, it must maintain synchronization between sender and receiver and it is less commonly used due to complexities in synchronization. So the last we have is CTR, counter. So it encrypts a counter value that often starting with an IV and incrementing by one for each block. An XORs with this file is the plain text to produce ciphertext and each block is independent of others, allowing parallel processing. And now talking about its advantages, it allows parallel encryption and decryption, offering high efficiency and no error propagation and errors in a ciphertext blocks affects only that block only. And then we have disadvantages and the disadvantages of CTR is it must ensure the counter is never used with the same key. And then the next is requires careful management of the counter to maintain security. 
And with that guys, we have come to the end of this session. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you like this session, then please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can comment down in the comment section below. And our experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.